As we continue our coverage now with nursing homes where COVID-19 cases continue to explode across our state. Yeah, tonight nearly one in five COVID-19 cases in the state are from nursing or residential care facilities and nearly half of the state's deaths. Right now, the state is monitoring nearly 70 outbreaks at centers across the state. Families of residents at Huntersville Oaks say they were blindsided when they found out positive patients were being moved into the facilities where their loved ones live. Now they told Channel 9's Deshaun Brown their mothers and fathers will be forced out as the center opens its doors to more positive cases. My biggest concern is how it was done. By this time Monday, several patients and residents from area nursing home Huntersville Oaks will be moving out and relocating to other homes within the region. Meanwhile, other patients who've tested positive for COVID-19 will be moving in. We weren't including in any decision. It was like told this is what's happening. This woman says her mother's lived here the past five years, but she found out Friday she was now being moved to Monroe. Her mother suffers from dementia. Alzheimer's patients have been proven with dementia that they cannot handle change very well. This could put my mother into a tailspin. I want everyone to have care. I think it's just unethical for them to disrupt the lives of so many. In a statement, Atrium Health, which runs Huntersville Oaks, said they are strategically moving patients who have the virus to Huntersville. The facility, it says, is one of few in the state capable of caring for COVID patients. Here is an excerpt from a video released by the state's health care facilities CEO. I think the approach, the very thoughtful, uh, planned out approach that Atrium is taking here to transfer uh, patients with still within the same uh, a local geographic area to uh, relocate those individuals to facilities that are COVID negative sites will um, not only uh, protect uh, them to the best extent possible, uh, given what we know today, uh, but also uh, be a service to other uh, individuals in skilled nursing facilities in the area. Another family asked, then why not notify them sooner? I, I feel like the information is being um, given to the families after the fact. It's like someone coming in and telling me I have to move out of my home. That's their home. She's been there two years. It's just a lot. She's very stressed. We're very stressed. And that was our day, Sean Brown reporting. Atrium did say on Channel 9 a statement from the American Healthcare Association. While it didn't say why it wanted and waited to tell families, it did say that Atrium is setting an example for other facilities. The statement says by creating a facility just for positive residents, quote, they are ensuring that care can be provided for those who need it while also protecting the health and safety of all residents.